Hi, my name is Miles Coney, aka Insta Human Entertainment, and welcome to my film series, Quarantine Chronicles. This is where I'm going to be asking people what have they been doing during quarantine. And we have our guest speaker, Rafael Ramirez Jr. Hello, you guys. Okay, so I got a few questions to ask Rafi right now. Question number one What do you do for a living? And talk about your background. Um, what I do is I do my laundry, I do my chores, uh, I go to work, uh, I pray every night when I go to bed. Uh, I do all sorts of things. I I sometimes live stream on my YouTube channel. I and I talk about God all the time. I read the scriptures and I read all all this kind of stuff like that. And especially uh, we wear a mask at work too. So we supposed to wear a mask. How has the COVID pandemic affected you in your day to day life? Um, when it, when this happened, uh, it did scare me for a bit, but, um, it, it now it has affected me more because now the manager says we cannot go to the store and because someone got sick of a COVID. So we cannot actually go to the store unless if it's over, then we could go back. They, they don't want us to get sick, so that's the whole reason why they uh, want us to be safe. They don't want us to catch any. How does it make you feel when this stuff is going on? I'm uh, scared and upset at the same time. Um, I really don't like it when this happens. And besides, you cannot go anywhere at all, but you can, but you just have to wear a mask. You know, if you're going to the store, like for example, Best Buy, that yet you still have to wear a mask. You still have to be six feet distance away from people, too. How does it affect you when you go to work every day? Like when you go to work and you walk in there with a mask, your mask up, are you, do you pray to God that you don't catch the COVID? And uh, Yes, because God exists. Many people say that he doesn't exist. And here's what he said. He said, if people believe in God, they will not perish and they will have everlasting life. That's what he says on his words. What is something good that has come out in this situation? Um, well, how did it come out? Um, Everybody talks about it. Uh, they 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 want us to wash our hands. Make sure we put sanitizer all the time. Uh, make sure you don't do you know you don't shake hands. You don't hug people. You gotta do elbows all the time. Uh, you can do an air hug. That's the only way you could do it. You know, air hug is the only way. But we cannot actually hug anybody because if you hug them, just like I said, you will catch. You you don't know if you gotta catch it or not. But, but um, pray, always pray to God. If you think that you might catch it, just pray for protection. Pray to God. And he has, he has, uh, he has the ability to protect you from the virus. And uh, the coronavirus is an enemy. It's, it's an enemy that wants us to catch it. And it's, it's really scary, but um, I really don't want to catch anything. And... The only thing that you should know about is that a vaccine is not good. Well, people think it's going to work, but uh, I don't think you shouldn't take the vaccine. Because here's what I find out. Uh, I have a dream about a vaccine, and he's telling me, don't take it. So what happened is if you take it, it's the mark of the beast. That's really mark of the beast. So if you take the vaccine, you're not gonna go to heaven. You're really gonna go in the bad place that you that you really don't want to go. It's a place of darkness. What is something bad or something you don't like about this situation? Like, what do you not like about 
this stuff that's going on? Um, I don't like false reports. The situation I have is, if you're gonna have people over your house, make sure they wash their hands real good. Make sure they sanitize their hands after they're done washing their hands. And make sure you clean everywhere in your house. This is real serious, you guys. Um, uh, and uh, God says, if you if you have terrifying, if you have anxiety, if you're worrying too much, give all that to Him, because He's the one that can save you. He's He's the way, and He's telling the truth, and He knows that the life. He knows the life, and He's the way. So I suggest you guys keep praying until this is over. Just keep praying. And uh, yeah, just keep praying. And yeah, that's good because we don't know when it's going to be over. We don't know when it's going to end. And people keep predicting that there's going to be this vaccine and everything's going to go away. But Donald Trump is going crazy out of his mind. Um, this is not good because, you know, everybody wants to get back to normal and back to our normal lives, back to, you know, back to work, um, back to what we're doing, back to going outside, going back to meeting people. And we're just locked up in the house until this situation is over. And yeah. Okay. What is the first thing you want to do when this is over? Like, what is the first thing you want to do when this coronavirus is over and it's gone? I want to, you know, go some places to eat or buy and take it home or what, whatever I do in my free time. I usually go to the mall, I usually go out and buy stuff from the, I don't know, like from taco shop or from whatever, whatever we go. Um, I usually buy stuff that I want to eat or sweets, or whatever I want to do in, in, in my life. It's it's a free thing to do, but uh, for right now, we're not in the free will to go out. Um, I see many people not wearing a mask. It scared me because what if they catch it? What if they catch it? And this is serious. I know people don't like to wear it. I know they cannot breathe through the mask, but you, ha you have to wear it. It's the law. That's what the government wants to do is to wear a mask. So it could slow the spread. That's what I heard. Now it could slow the spread, but people don't listen. They don't put it on. It's, it's going to get worse, worse and worse. And uh, that's all I need to tell you for right now. <clears throat> well, lastly, what I want to say is, you know, basically, when it comes to this world of chaos during this unpredicted time, knowing that some people who go out, going to parties, going to people's house, going to the mall, going to restaurants, going to stores, grocery stores, all that stuff. The only thing I don't get is like, why can't people just put on the mask? They don't put on the mask. Some people just walk in, don't put the mask on, and they don't think it's real. This stuff is real, people. This stuff is real, and it's killing everybody, and everybody is getting sick. Here's so, all we gotta do all we got to do, Raffi, get your mask. All you got to do is put on this mask. That's all you got to do, everybody. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is put on this mask. This is all you got to do. Put the mask on. Walk in the store with the mask on. Walk to the beach with the mask on. Walk to the mall with a mask. Wherever you go, put the mask on. It, it doesn't mean that you cannot speak. You can still speak. <laughs> That's yeah, I'm yeah. Saying. Like, look at Brad. He puts, on, he puts on his mask when yeah. he goes to work every day. He never takes it off. Because if you take it off and somebody don't have their mask on, and if they're talking, breathing, coughing, sneezing, those particles will go in the air 
and it will get into your lungs, like into your system through your nose and through your lungs. Yeah. And that person will get sick. And I want everybody to take this seriously, okay? I understand people want to get back to normal and all this, but just put on the mask. Just put it on. Um, Please put it on, guys. It, it's not. It's not fake. It's for real. Things are happening, guys. Like for real. If you're a Christian or a Catholic, you need to have a Bible. These things happening is directly on the Bible. I'm telling you. And in the Bible, shelter in place. Yes, exactly. That's what God is telling us to do. We are supposed to shelter in place. We are supposed to uh, stay at home and do what you do. Do what you got to do. Don't go out trying to hang with people right now. Do that whenever this mess is over and it's safe. Yeah, that's that's what he wants us to do. Um, okay. Uh, and I heard that you don't have to be baptized or go to heaven. No, no, guys. No. Jesus said to make disciples of all nations and back, get, baptized, get baptized in the Holy Spirit. That is true. It's literally on the scripture on there. If you have a Bible app, search it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to say the same thing. I'm pretty sure. This is real serious things, guys. God is real. People, uh, I hear people say, oh, I'm an atheist. Yeah, you're atheist, but you're supposed to believe. You're supposed to believe in him. He, he's the one that created us. He created his own image. He he make our facial stuff, you know, like our facial hair. He makes our hair, our eyebrows, our eyes, nose, mouth, teeth, you know, body, organs. He, he make us. He's the one that created us. And we have a purpose here. We have a purpose. That's what he created us for. We It doesn't mean we've been here by accident. We have a purpose to be here. All right. Um, let's see. Do you have any last words for the people? Uh, um, please wear a mask. <laughs> I don't want you to get sick because what happened is if you catch it, you might end up in the hospital. And what happened is all the air, if it's if the air from outside, if there's I know there's a virus, but if air goes in your nose, into your lungs, you, you, might, you might end up in the hospital and you might you might have this this text that they have to make you breathe and all that. And you know, you might die. In the hospital like that, you might die. You may not never live. All I gotta say, just keep praying and praying until it's over. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, just keep praying until it's over. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for Rafi for being a part of this um, Quarantine Chronicle series. Uh, more episodes will be out soon. But this is episode one with Rafael Ramirez Jr. Go subscribe to his channel, Rafi Craft. And uh, thank you for watching. Instant Human out.